Hi, it's Penny here from Being Mrs C again. Now, a little bit different this time, and that today I'm going to be talking to you all about my hair. So not something I talk about very often, but from tomorrow I am going no poo, as the terminology goes. So I'm actually going to try and give up shampoo. Um, I've been reading about this for quite a long time, maybe mainly over on Lou Lastic's blog, so that's Lucy Aitken Reed, who writes a fantastic thrifty blog. If you haven't seen it, go there, make a cup of tea first, because you'll be there for hours, trust me. Um, but what Lucy did was back, um, I think it was about 2011, 2012, she gave up shampoo. And at the time it was quite a radical thing to do and I know she's had some crazy moments on the journey but actually it's been really really successful for her. So she has since written a book called Happy Hair and she's also now running an online course called Happy Hair Detox. So tomorrow 1st of June is when I start on this course and I plan to blog and video my way through it. So I thought I'd give you a quick before shot. So this is my hair today, 31st of May. Um, it needs a cut, hasn't had one in far too long, but still. Um, so this was washed this morning with my regular shampoo after a run. And that will, I think, hopefully, be the last time I use normal shampoo. Now, I can't pretend that I'm not absolutely petrified about this. I don't spend a huge amount of time or attention to my appearance, but my hair, I do like it just being clean. I like it feeling nice. I like it having a bit of a shine to it as it does now. Um, so it's going to be a bit of an experiment. I'm a bit scared. Um, there's a transition period, supposedly, six weeks where that kind of takes your hair that long to get well, get used to not having shampoo, really, and not having all those chemicals that um, strip all the nat natural um, sort of serum and everything from your hair. Um, Lucy also warns in the first video of the course that if you've got hard water, that transition can be even worse. And guess what? We've got hard water here, so I'm feeling even more scared. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how I get on. There's a few bits of kit and other things that she suggests getting hold of, so I'll kind of be doing that tomorrow. Nothing expensive or crazy or anything like that, but just things to help you get through some of that transition thing and other things to wash your hair with natural products as well. So I'm kind of doing this for a few reasons. Partly because I don't like the idea of all the chemicals that are currently going into my hair. I also have a few scalp problems and I'm hoping that that might help so sort those out. Um, I also don't like the idea of all the packaging that we have on shampoo these days and the amount of that I get through. Um, and generally I'd like to try and um, cut out a lot of the products that I use on myself. I mean I don't use a huge amount, I don't have a huge bulging makeup bag. Um, but Lucy's blogged about some of the great things that she's doing both on her own blog and also over on Cosmopolitan's. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying out a few other home-based techniques as well. Um, so yeah, join me for the journey. Um, it could get a bit horrible at times, but I'm, ho I'm hoping we'll get there. Um, dreading really the, the views from some of the other mums at school and things like that. I'm stood there with greasy hair, so fingers crossed that won't happen. But join me for the journey. Um, and I'll leave a link below to Lucy's blog and also to her ebook, which you can buy online as well. Um, so if you fancy joining me on the journey, then that would be great.